Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith, and I'm here doing my Every Dollar Budget. Um, normally I have these out on Friday, it's a little different this week. I'm trying to get all my videos um, re-equalized now that I'm doing these vlogs. I can't do two or three videos a day, it just doesn't make sense to do that. So um, I'm going to try this on a Sunday evening and see how this goes. So uh, I have a ton of transactions because normally I do this on Thursday night, like for Friday morning. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here and see what we have. I'm going to move my happy face up. So $3.03 at Target. I don't even remember what that was. February 2nd. Gee whiz, that feels like super long, long ago. Um, let's do this one instead because I know where this goes. <laughs> so this was on on 2 3. I'm going to put this. This is a paycheck. 2 3. Done. Don't even remember what the target thing is. <gasps> no, I do now. Okay, so I know what this is. Um, my realtor's dog died, and we got her a card. That's what this was. So this is going to be my spending money. Kind of sad. She was really upset about it. It can be really hard to lose a pet. And this is like the first house, this one that the knitting incident happened at is the first time that we have gone and looked at a house and her dog hasn't come too. Um, so I'm not saying that I was best friends with the dog, but you know, I mean, I saw the dog regular. Okay. So save a lot is obviously groceries. Online payment. Okay, so part of this is gas and oil, and part of this is Chris's spending money. What happened to it? There it is. Okay, so let's do Chris's weekly. Gas and oil. Five dollars and then twenty five dollars for the gas. Duma meats. That is groceries. It drives me nuts when it does that. Okay, so Dumas, I'm going to try to do a, uh, I'll do the link to their in introduction video up here. This tells you a little bit about the family and um, their way of doing business. I enjoy them. They fit into exactly what I want to, to buy local, to buy, you know, well, not only food that's local, but from a local business. I mean, they live in our community. They work in our community. It's not going to some kind of multinational corporation. It's it's really local. Okay, so Britt, this is an ATM withdrawal. So this is Chris's, this is the rest of Chris's weekly money. He gets this in cash. Whereas the other $5 he gets on the card so that he can use that at for a while to get air in the tires or um, he can slide that at his vending machine at work too. So Aldi's, that is a totally a groceries if I ever saw groceries. Why does it go away like that? Oh, 
Okay. All right, this is obviously a carryover from last month. This is what I had um, in my account. And I do hope to spend darn near every bit of it, of it this month, as close to zero as possible. I don't always make zero, but I really try. I don't remember why I transferred this in from savings, but clearly I did it. That's the one thing is when you wait a while, sometimes it's hard to remember. All right, so this is 36 cents in Capital One Rewards. I'm going to put this, oh, that's income, 36 cents. And this is the actual payment that went to Capital One. I don't know why it does that. Does it do that to anybody else when they do it? Just like disappears, like and does like I don't know weird voodoo. That just drives me bad. Eh? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it makes me think I forgot to do this last week. See, I didn't touch anything, and it just, it just on its own essential voodoo said, see a sucker? Okay, so to a AKR Akron, that's Akron Utilities, that is going to be my, um, my water, my trash service, and my sewer. I had to sneeze. So that's paid. Yay! I like it when stuff is paid off. Online payment. $16 to Capital One. Oh, because it was a weird balance. I don't know. You know, it's when you pay off the last bit of your credit card, they have that weird bi-monthly whatever, and I had sent $30 for Chris's um, spending, or purpose for Chris's, you know, 25 for gas, and his five for um, spending, and it, I only had like a $15 credit, so I just paid the difference to make sure that I had a $50 or $30 credit. Because that's what Chris is allotted to use during the week, and that's what that was. You remember how I said, after, even after I paid it off, I would have to do that. I had that five dollar kind of placeholder, and that was for the purposes of that. Because there is still an interest charge that shows up, and everyone kind of forgets about it, and everyone gets mad when there's like seven dollars waiting. And this, I guess, was fifteen. So I mean, I paid off a lot in the last like two weeks. So. Um, $16 interest on $1,200 probably isn't that bad or is is not out of, out of the realm of possibility. So mm, I think this is first energy. It is. Okay. So that's my electric. Uh, remember, or I don't know if you remember, but the last time I did like a Tuesday um, financial chat with everybody, the um, the thing for me was that I'm trying to get to the point where I'm paying everything the week before it's due instead of like the week it's due. And a lot of time that manifests itself in that everything is due the first week of the month. So I'm trying to pay instead of that first week, the last week of the month. So instead of paying everything the first week in March, I'm trying to pay it the last week in February. So this is part of that getting ahead to TM. don't know what that is. I'm going to skip this one and come back to it. 
Verizon. My phone bill. I am part of a on part of a family plan with my mom. It's so old. Every time we go in, the guy's like, "Wow, your plan doesn't exist anymore, and we will never ever get off of it because I have unlimited data." Yeah, I know, right? It's like the 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 Yeti, the snow beast. It does exist. Yes, it does. I'm gonna look at the calendar here. Okay, so I don't want to do anything from the ninth on. So like from here on is like next week. Okay. American Family. Okay, I know what that is. That is part of my car insurance. I split it up into two payments this time because that's how much or that's how the money that was allotted. Like when I say the money allotted, I mean the paychecks worked out. I had that 20 extra dollar or not 20 extra, but I do pay $160 on it every month. It's like $159 or something. And I just round up because it's easier. And then on that last month, I just make a, I have a smaller payment and then I pay that to the penny. So Amazon. I don't even know what to put that under, I guess. I'm going to eat up a ton of my weekly. Netflix! Yay! <sighs> okay, so Netflix is, is next. Netflix, it's pretty stable as far as the charge goes for that. So, good to go. Aldi's, 85 cents. So, if you watched my um, vlog where I did my try-on haul... Chris texted me in the middle of thrift shopping. I was like, we're out of bread. So I had to buy a fourth loaf. So I have, that's it. So this is 85 cents. Literally, it is one loaf of bread. All these happens to be right next door to the thrift store. Oh, and there I will link up uh, up here the, that vlog so that you can see that. It's so exciting. Um, let's see here. Online payment. I'm not sure what this was. You know what we're going to do? Let's look and see on my spreadsheet. $70, Akron Utility, First Energy, T-Mobile, TM. That's what it is. Okay. That's Chris's cell phone bill. So it's $69 and like 41 cents or something. And again, it's just easier to round up. And then in December or in actually in November, I make like a double payment. I pay November's and December's. I try to pay all of my December bills ahead of time, starting in like September, October, November. I start to like double up until I'm ahead one month. Then I don't have to make any of those payments in December and I can spend money like I'm a rich person. If I were a rich girl. So, okay, so all of these transactions are from this Friday, which I actually do next week which means these are up to date. So, hey, look, it says I have 82 cents. Let's do this here. I don't know why I have this $25 budgeted, or I don't know what the deal is with that, but <gasps> I know what this is. This is not... From my from my savings into this, it is money from my checking account into my savings. Okay, so I'm eventually going to learn how to do this. Ah, 
that's what that is. Okay, so now I'm going to do done. Okay, so I did all my transactions for our, the for the last week. Yay! All right, I'm just going to double check everything and look. I feel like this is a funny number. Watch, watch this right here. Boom! Just blew up, but that's how it is. Okay, so I'm going to be done with this. Oh, you know what I'm not gonna be done doing? Because the last time I did this, it was it was like the 31st. How did I skip a week? I don't know. Okay, so we need to fix. Where's my emergency fund? There it is. Oh, no, that's right. Okay. I don't know why it gives me credit for all of this already because I'm going to move my face. It should not give me this plus this does not make my balance because I haven't done it yet. I don't know what to do about that, but this is done for this. So let's go look at my spending for the Friday the 10th. So what did I, look, we got, we got a refund. Yay! So I do have this set up so that this adds up here to my target paycheck. You know what? I'm not done over here. I'm not done. We got some more trans. We got more transactions to be a doing. I think. Gosh, I'm thinking, guys. You see the smoke happening here? No, I wouldn't have done any of this because I would have done it Thursday night and everything after Thursday. Okay, I lied. So, this is how I'm planning to spend my Friday, I guess, because this would have been released Friday morning. So, I would be planning for this. So, I got a bunch of income. So, I essentially, I got this four ninety five forty two, dollars which is Chris's regular check. And then I also got paid $268.43, which is my last full paycheck from Target. I do believe I worked like one week because we get paid every two weeks. So I worked the week all the way up to the fourth. So I have like a half a paycheck. It's not going to be a ton of money, but it's, it's money. So um, those two paychecks plus all anything we received in these categories adds up to this $1,319. So that's like a huge paycheck for us. Big, big money. Okay, so um, obviously Chris gets his um, his money because that's his gas money and his spending money. We spent $100 on food, which was fantastic. If you want to see what I got for that $100, there's a haul video right up here in the corner. If I could get in the frame from this weekend. Um, I, our tax bill, our real estate tax for the house came. This $14.50.30 is... Um, the entire year and only the first half is due right now but as soon as we get the rest of his 
income tax, it is our intent to just pay that off. We pay that instead of having to get a bill in November, because let me tell you, getting a tax bill, not great then. Or we get it in September or something. It's at the end of the year, and it's at a time when I'm trying to prepare for Christmas, so I don't want to do that. <clears throat> tax bill. So we just pay it all um, first. But I did have enough money between this income and my Target check to just pay the first half, which is great. Dominion paying $113 towards that, and that is the entire bill. So that actually isn't even due until like the first week in March or something. So again, just trying to get that ahead. Paying $80 towards First Energy, um, and that is working towards the other half of that getting ahead. So that's like the new bill, or the, the, the what's left of the bill paying ahead. So then we have car insurance. This is thirty I owe thirty more dollars. I gotta find thirty dollars here somewhere. I just need to write that down. So that's almost the remainder of it. Forty six dollars is going to Capital One because we spent forty six dollars eating out and some other stuff. Um Paying that off right away. I'm not even messing around with that. Um, I did get gas. I think I got like $21 or $22 worth of gas um, on Friday, Thursday. Uh, and I I thought, oh, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to skip that. I'm only going to get $10. No. <laughs> no. She was dry as a bone limping into that gas station, let me tell you. Um, $48.37 is not Amazon. It is something else. It's like three transactions. Okay, so I know $15 of it is in my thrift haul. $31 of it is... It's the thrift haul and the Amazon is what it is. So it is kind of partly Amazon. So <sighs> Amazon's getting a lot of my money lately. Uh, but that is paid for. It was I paid cash for that. So that is good. That's where all of this money is going. So then we're going to see you next week. Next week, I feel like I'm going to be a rich person because we're going to put money into my emergency fund towards the $1,000. Okay, so that is the wrap up for this week. I will try to have this out, quote unquote, on time next week. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to see what day this finally settles on, um, what that's going to look like. But I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I feel like I'm just like everybody else trying to make this work. And even, even my every dollar sometimes doesn't work as good as I, I want it to work or want it to show you working. So um, please, if you are in it to win it with the Dave Ramsey plan, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you're enjoying the snowball method, thumbs up me too. <laughs> Click on subscribe. I do a weekly video uh, with my every dollar budget so you can see where I spent my money here and my plan of what we're doing next week. So Next week, I plan to save $290 into my um, my savings. And you can see I'll be almost halfway towards my $1,000. Yay! Christmas money. Oh, what's this? My food. It's $20. That is going to be my no spend week. I do allow myself $20 to um, buy a certain amount of fresh food, eggs, milk, or not milk, but like in your case, you probably would use like milk, but like eggs, bread. Um, other emergency things that crop up during the week. $92 towards my baby delivery, which I'm still going to owe $13,000 on. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to spend another $30 towards the car insurance, which will finish that for the month. I'm going to get $15 worth of uh, spending money. We'll see if that gets spent. Diapers are going to be ordered this month or this time out of, I get that from Amazon, 
I'm probably going to need wipes out of that too because for $25 I can get two cases of diapers. So we'll see how that ends up working out. So that's the plan to spend next week's cash. So subscribe, like, comment below. I really appreciate you tuning in. I think it's super fun to share this time with you and I will see you later.